Hello my energetic students of class 3 this is your english teacher miss mahajabeen and today i'm going to explain you first lesson the tail of benjamin bunny what do you mean by tail yes correct story the tail nothing but story the story of benjamin bunny who do you think the benjamin bunny is benjamin bunny is a a rabbit the name of a rabbit is benjamin bunny now before we get into lesson let us see warm up activity look at these pictures how is picture a different from b as you can see here there are four pictures now first one he is saying that picture a and picture b you have to differentiate so what can you see here here they are helping each other and here they are fighting they are quarreling right now second question how is picture c different from d here also they are helping each other but here they are fighting then third what should the animals do what should the animals do can anyone say here yes they should not fight they should live happily they should help each other yes okay now let's get into our lesson one morning m o r n i n g morning as little l i d t l e little benjamin bunny b e n j a m i n benjamin bunny b u d l e n y bunny sat s a t sat on a river bank r i v e r river b a n k bank so what happened one morning the little benjamin bunny sat on a river bank bank here is nothing but an area of a ground along the edge of a river near the river he was sitting then he h e he h e a r d heard the trit trot trit trot t r i t trit t r o t trot trit trot of a pony p o n y pony here pony is nothing but small horses a horse carriage h o r s e horse carriage c a r r i a g e carriage a horse carriage nothing but it is a vehicle which was drawn by horse okay now it was coming along the road okay it was coming along the road then it was driven i t it w s was driven d r i v e n driven by mr mac gregor g r e g o r gregor and beside him b e s i d e beside him sat mrs mac gregor so what is happening here one horse carriage is coming along the road and who is driving that that was driven by mr macgregor and beside him sat his wife mrs macgregor okay as soon as they had passed p a w s e d passed little benjamin b e n j a m i n benjamin set off to visit his cousins c o u s i n s cousins flopsy f l o p s y flopsy children repeat after me please f l o p s y flopsy mopsy m o p s y mopsy cotton tail c o t t o n cotton t a i l tail cotton tail and a n d and peter p e t e r peter so what are the names of the cousins flopsy mopsy cotton tail and peter four cousins okay they lived in the wood at the back of mr macgregor's garden so where they are living they are living in the wood at the back of mr macgregor's garden g a r d e n garden okay old mrs rabbit had once told the little bunnies b u double n i e s bunnies what she said you may go into the fields or down the lane 
बट डोंट गो इन टू मिस्टर मैकग्रेगर्स गार्डन ओल्ड मिसेस रैबिट सेट टू द बनीज दैट यू कैन गो टू द फील्ड बट यू शुड नॉट गो टू द गार्डन हुज गार्डन मिस्टर मैकग्रेगर्स गार्डन देन Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail were good little bunnies. They are good little bunnies, and they obeyed their mother. But not Peter. These three children obeyed her, his mother. But Peter did not listen to his mother. He is a naughty fellow. So, can you guess what animals can you find in a garden? Yes, we can find. rabbit in a garden pigeons peacocks deer okay next that morning when little benjamin came round the back of the fir tree he nearly fell on top of his cousin so what he is saying then one morning little benjamin came round the back of the fir tree the name of a tree is fir so he was sitting there then suddenly this benjamin fell on top of his cousin who is that cousin that is peter little benjamin fell on top of a peter peter was sitting by himself he looked sad and was dressed in a red cotton pocket handkerchief who is sad here peter yes he is sitting by himself and he looked very sad and he was dressed in a red cotton pocket handkerchief can you see here yes red cotton pocket handkerchief then little benjamin is asking peter he shouted where are your clothes he is asking to peter little benjamin is asking to peter where are your clothes now the remaining part will be explained in the next video so till that time you go through the hard words make the practice of reading okay take care bye bye